everyone! Welcome to day 10 of the Advent Calendar. It's the 10th of December. Hope you're doing well. Today I am wearing a uh, emerald green birder pattern, birder magazine pattern dress. Uh, I'll also link to the pattern in the description box. The bird magazine patterns are all available individually to purchase on their website as PDFs, so if you want to buy it you can, rather than having to trace the spider's web of pattern pieces off the back off the pattern sheets in the bird magazine which if any of you have ever tried to do it you will know is a fun process the tip's back i'm hoping this still counts as family friendly it is a blue tip just just saying. um so this fabric is the luxury crepe from so over it in emerald it's amazing i love it so great to um sew with has a beautiful drape, the colour is obviously super intense and vibrant and that's lovely. I lined this dress, so I, I lined the bodice in the same fabric as the outer and then I put acetate lining in the skirt, which just, I don't think the original in the pattern is lined. So I, I did that, I didn't line the sleeves. It's lovely, I wear it all the time, it's such a beautiful shape, in fact getting it out of the cupboard just now I thought oh, we need to make another one of these. The lovely thing about doing this advent calendar is, I mean, there's many lovely things about doing this advent calendar. I am so enjoying it and I'm really pleased that you guys are enjoying it. I get to go back and find all my me made outfits because I've been breastfeeding for the last year. I just haven't worn a load of them because it's a real faff to have to try and breastfeed and wear something with a zip at the back. And I'm really looking forward to getting back into all of my clothes again when I stop breastfeeding, which uh, will probably happen quite soon. So it's been really nice to rediscover all of these lovely things that I've got sitting in my wardrobe ready for me to go and try on again uh, when I'm back at work. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm wearing. Joke for the day. My goodness. I don't want to big this one up, but it's kind of great. You do need to know one famous person in order for this to make sense. So if you're telling your kids they might not know who this is, in which case you may want to adjust the joke for their purposes. I will suggest an edit once I've told you it, but I think it's better without the edit. So I'm going to tell you it raw and then suggest the children edit. I'm really not starting this well. That's <laughs> a very long and boring grub. Anyway, right. <clears throat> what do you call Gary Kasparov bragging about his wins in a hotel lobby? A chestnut boasting in an open foyer. <laughs> it's so good. Love it. <sighs> My edit is rather than re referencing Gary Kasparov, who anyone who was alive in the 90s will know, and probably still is, save a couple of computers, one of the best, the best chess players that's ever lived. Um, you could probably just say, I think the original joke, as I read it, was, because um, I did not, I haven't made these up, guys. I know, I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm, I am telling you jokes that other people have thought of. Was, how do, what do you call a group of chess players bragging about their wins in a hotel lobby? And I just felt that if you repeat the word chess, it slightly takes the punch out of the punchline. You know what I mean? So I removed it. But you could maybe say, what do you call a chess champion bragging about his wins in a hotel lobby? Maybe it's just not a kid's joke. Anyway, so that's today's joke. <laughs> I like it. I, I This is totally my kind of joke. Um, uh, so yes, today's sewing tip is a coming up. Um, hope you enjoy it and I will see you tomorrow for day 11, day 11 of the advent calendar. Cheers. See you tomorrow. Today's tip is about sewing darts and a slight controversial potentially tip that I learned from Alison. She yes. recommends sewing your darts not from the side seam edge, i.e. the wider edge of the dart, but from the point. And the reason she suggests doing this is because the point of the dart is the place that you really want to get right. You want to make sure that your sewing finishes at that point. So by starting there, you know that you've put your needle in exactly the right place and you're going to finish the dart at exactly the right place. And all of the fullness is obviously released at the point, so that's the bit you want to get really right. So if you put your needle down into the machine, place your fabric with the point next to your needle, line your sewing machine up 
with the direction of the dart that you need to sew and sew from that direction, you end up with a neater dart. And I now sew all of mine like this.